Does your makeup collection look like a mess or is it just mine? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Why is this open? We have to tackle um, my entire makeup collection today because things are just like, like this is empty. We just, why is there lipstick in here? Ugh. We have to tackle this today. I'm just going to clear out this entire thing. I'm going to take all of the makeup out of these acrylic containers and then reorganize everything. I'm going to throw out any makeup that I don't want anymore. And we're just going to keep the makeup that I'm absolutely going to use or I absolutely love. So let's get started. I'm putting down a purple towel so my carpet doesn't get dirty and I'm just going to dump out all of the makeup and go through them and sort them. that we should do is to just organize everything by like blush, foundation, eyeliner, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I organized everything. I have all my lip products here, my foundations, concealers, mascaras, primers, face powders, palettes. So yeah, I think we have everything pretty organized. My favorite, favorite makeup products, I will link them down below. Just in case you guys are in the mood to try new makeup or you're trying to look for some like favorites, I'll link some of mine down below. Um, I'm going to clean my makeup organizers. They're kind of dirty on the inside. I just want them to be nice and clean and clear. And I'll link this stuff down below just in case you need some organizers in your life. So now I'm going to start putting the makeup in. I want to have each drawer designated for a certain makeup product. I think this one is going to be all face stuff and I'm actually going to take a paper towel and just kind of like dampen it with this disinfectant and I'm going to wipe off the products as I put them in. I think I'm going to going to put all of my concealers on the bottom drawer here. So I think I'm going to organize my concealers by lightest to darkest. My absolute favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape. Actually, the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I would wanna say it's like the drugstore version of the Tarte Shape Tape, except it's a little bit more hydrating. I even have the hydrating one. This one is the e.l.f. hydrating one, and it is freaking amazing. So definitely don't pass up the e.l.f. hydrating concealers. I love the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. They're really, really good. Even the Benefit um, Cakeless Concealer, this one, this one is also really, really good. Very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, so yes, loving these. These are gonna go down here. 
I am going to do the same thing with my foundations. I'm going to organize them from lightest to darkest. that if it's overflowing in my drawer, I have to get rid of something. So out of all of these foundations, I think I'm going to get rid of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This foundation is an amazing, amazing drugstore foundation. It is so good. There's amazing coverage. It wears really well. The only downside of this foundation is that it kind of smells a little bit like paint, um, but I've had this for so many years that I think it's time to let it go. This is my oldest foundation in this bunch. The last one I have obviously is not going to fit, so I am definitely going to have to get rid of one of them. I think this is what I'm going to get rid of. I was so excited about this when I bought this because this is the original Airspun Loose Face Powder, and you get so much product. It's super affordable. You can find it right at your drugstore or off of Amazon, but it has a very, very strong perfume smell to it, and I don't feel like it really wears well throughout the day. My face gets really oily super fast when I wear this. It doesn't really work for me, so that's why I am going to be getting rid of this. This one I'm actually going to throw out. This is by Laura Geller. Like I am not a cream blush bronzer highlighter girl. I much rather prefer the powders. I feel like the creams just kind of like, I don't know. It just, it doesn't sit well on my skin. So this one I am going to throw out and get rid of. On this side, I'm going to put my single blushes. I do have some blushes in palettes, but these are my single blushes. These e.l.f primer infused blushes are freaking amazing guys they are so good you will not regret getting these I actually have them in two colors this one is actually my favorite always punchy and i recently got always rosy this one is a lot more pink so definitely love these my favorite all-time blush you guys already know is by siate london this is their one in marble light dusk so good such a good bronzer and i also have a classic here i don't even know if they make this anymore but this is the milani bake blush and it's just so pretty this blush is like a shimmer blush so um it goes on nice and shimmery and on this side i am going to put my face primers guys holy grail of all face primers the elf poreless putty primer as you can see i have used quite a bit of this so freaking good you will not regret getting this i have the tatcha silk skin canvas i actually bought this because i wanted to compare it to the elf poreless putty primer and honestly the elf poreless putty primer is so much better this is amazing the uh poor professional benefit primer love this stuff so good a drugstore version that you can kind of get that works similar is the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser so good so affordable love it so that's for my face primers oh this is looking so good okay
I think my drawers are all set. So I'm just gonna clean this down. Alrighty, so we're in my bathroom. I have to wash my makeup brushes because they're disgusting and my sponges. I actually have a makeup brush washing kit and I'll link this down below. It's really, really good. It washes your brushes and it dries them at the same time. Add a little bit of water. Just going to squeeze in the soap. I'm gonna grab a brush. I'm just going to dunk the brush in here like this. If you see all that dirt coming off of it, get like the water out. And then I'm just going to lay them down. So I'm going to do that to all of the brushes and I will be back. Ew, guys, look, my makeup brushes are so dirty. I think I'm going to pour this out. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, and you wanna make sure that your makeup brushes are clean so your face doesn't get all, you know, pimply and stuff. So I'm gonna run them through again, let's see. Much better this time. All right, I'm gonna run through all of my brushes again and I will be back. So I just like to take a dry towel and I like to take the brushes and get off most of the moisture. So I just brush it through like this um, and the towel soaks up most of the moisture. You don't want to dab it down because you're going to mess up your makeup brushes. You just go like this. And takes off most of the moisture before we automatically dry these. So I'm going to go through all the brushes like this and I will be back. Okay, so with this automatic dryer, it comes with like different brush sizes. And say like if I want to dry this one, I find one that it fits. So it's, this one fits, I'm just going to push it down and then you attach the back of it to this. I like to put mine in the bowl so the water doesn't fly everywhere. So you hold it in there for about 30 to 60 seconds depending on like how wet your brush is and you can see See like all of the water accumulate in there. This is the greatest thing ever. I love how it just dries all of my brushes. There we go. And yep, it's nice and dry. So this one is done. Now I'm just going to dry the rest of them and I will be back. Alrighty, uh, there is nothing better than clean makeup brushes. So I'm going to take a step further. You guys don't have to do this stuff, obviously. I just have this really cool UV like sterilizer box that I got from Shop Miss A. And I'm just going to throw my makeup brushes in here. And I'm just going to sterilize them for 10 minutes. Just because I'm OCD and I like things to be extra clean. This is amazing, guys, by the way, because I sterilize like everything in here. My car keys, my face mask, my cell phone, everything. I'm just going to close it. We're going to do the UV light sterilizing for 10 minutes. When it's done, it's just going to beep. This thing is definitely like a nice luxury thing to have. It's pricey, but I do have a 30% off coupon. I'll link this down below, like where I got it from, and then I'll also put the coupon code down below. So yeah. Super cute. Alrighty, our makeup brushes are done disinfecting. So I'm just going to take them out, throw them in. All 
Alrighty, let's go. And voila. <gasps> oh my gosh. So just an overview, these are my lip liners. These are my long um, lip balms and glosses. My short lip balms and glosses, lip, liquid lipsticks and, uh, and lipsticks. I have in here my eyebrow products and um, my eyeshadow primers. In here I have my eyeliners and my mascaras. In here I just have my small eyeshadows and single eyeshadows. And then up here I have my face primers. I have my blushes, I have my bronzers, my face powders, my foundations, and my concealers. And then I just have all of my palettes over here. These are a mix of face palettes and eyeshadow palettes, my clean beauty blenders, um, some setting sprays, our nice clean disinfected brushes, a little egg stand right here. Over back here I just have my travel makeup case. So over here I just have lashes that I reach for every day and an eyelash glue. And down here I just have other eyelash glue. And then I just have some eye eyelash tools. Over here I actually have a magnetic palette that I got from Shop is A. But I use this to house my eyelashes so daily eyelashes I'm wearing every day I just throw them in here and I keep them right up here and this is just an extra like compact mirror and over here I just have a fan in case I want to you know set my face when I do my setting spray I can fan my face and then I have just extra bronzer palettes down here that I have not opened yet I have a beautiful um, handheld mirror right here next to it I just think it's so pretty and then I just have like some decorative pieces, like a really cute um, pink sequin like pouch. And then my white pumps. And then you guys know down here are my nail products, my lash products. And this is just like a tech box that I throw tech stuff in. Now this wall is just sparkling clean. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all have a wonderful, fabulous day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.